Hey everybody, BrickLiver18 here today with just a little LEGO Room update. I wanted to kind of update you on a couple of things I've been doing since I tore apart my LEGO City and kind of redesigned or I guess moved around the whole LEGO Room. If you've seen some of my LEGO City updates, you know that the city is well underway to being rebuilt and put in. And of course, there is still... A lot more work to do as you can see everything's still kind of all over the place but posters are up they're up nice again I also put up my banner which I'm really excited about so I properly taped all the Bristol board to the window there and made it so that no light comes in no nothing ruins my Lego and then I actually taped up my brick lever 18 banner which I just really like because I think it adds a nice aspect to the room now and instead of looking at an ugly black wall you get to see my banner which I'm pretty excited about it's kind of the old banner logo. I haven't really updated it in a couple of years now. Uh, that used to be my channel art if you're new to the channel. but um, So I'll probably redo the banner or something soon next time I go to a convention. But for now, I thought it would just looks nice and I think it just adds a lot to the room. And then I've still got all my pick a brick cups kind of behind here. Not the best spot for them, but honestly it does keep them out of the way. And considering I have to keep this gap open because of the heater, uh, it just works out. And then of course when winter comes and I have to install my air conditioner again, um, I'll have to kind of take this down and really rework it. But for now, for it's winter, it's only March, there's still a few months before air conditioning needs to come on. So that looks good. Down here, as you can see, I still have a bunch of things from my city. I can't get over how much floor space I have because with the way the city used to be laid out, I never ever would have been able to have anything like this, you know, just sitting down there. But the rest of the room does look good. I don't like that light. I don't really like the placement of it. I think I want to move it just because it's kind of blocking what's on those shelves there. But it does light up the room, so I might get an extension cord or something like that and put it more over here in the middle or something. But we will figure that out because it either goes here and blocks the Disney train or it goes here and blocks the brickheads. So the light's there, it's kind of a nuisance, but maybe I'll get an extension cord or figure that out, something there. I have been looking at like clearing this bottom shelf off because quite frankly, this shelf, this shelf, and this shelf, are just kind of useless as well as you know these two shelves as well I spent like so much time you know organizing these when I was first moving into the room to make that look really good and I just you know neglected I guess down here and it's changed a lot and then kind of back here as well the same thing just a lot of random stuff right here these boxes are all parts to sort and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take them out soon and I'm actually gonna go through them and really sort my Lego because as you can see everything in here right now this is the one thing I really want to tackle is because there's absolutely no uh, order or anything like that to anything that's in these Papi Max containers. They're just kind of all over the place and I just randomly place things everywhere. I really have to go through that and resort because like right now um, I've got two bins of flowers up here, skip a line and then, you know, grass pieces. And then I'm sure that there's flower. Oh, look at that. There's more flowers over there. Like when I moved the Pappy Max from over here where it used to be and I did have a system when I put it over here I I just put them anywhere there is actually no system so I do want to go through that resort it all and make it make sense but I kind of want to wait until I finish sorting all of this Lego because there's not too much sense in reorganizing all this only to sort my collection and then find out that I need to expand or like condense or anything like that. So that's what my plan is right now. I still have to figure that out. But overall, it is looking pretty good here in the Lego room. This video just kind of wanted to update you and really talk about what's going on. Um, put some cleaning supplies over here and hung my vacuum up, which having those has been really great. And then I've got to turn this back just when I turn on the heat, um, when I'm in here for a long period of time where it gets kind of chilly, I just have to crawl under there and manually turn it on. And then of course I, so I don't forget that it's on because I don't need it on all the time. Especially this room is pretty warm. It's right next to the parking garage. There's lots of cement and stuff, but every once in a while I want to get a little warmer. So I'll turn it. So this is turned right now to indicate the heat's on. And then when, when I turn it off before I go to go, I know to turn the bins back and just kind of remember. And then I'll just might as well take you over here to the other side of the leg room, kind of let you know what's going on. I'll hide the person's address there, but I have some orders ready to go out. I had a really good weekend actually for orders. So I got a bunch shipped out yesterday and that is good. Over here, 
basically everything is the same, the studio is the same, been working on making lots of cool videos and stuff like that, and then I just had to, I pulled the chair out because I, need, I got a new extension cord that I haven't hooked up yet, as you can see it's just kind of there, I need to hook it up to this light and everything on this side of the studio, but Everything looks good here in the white wall and all that, the behind the scenes. Lots of BrickLink inventory, as you can see down here and underneath the table that I do have to go through, sort, and add to my BrickLink store. And, of course, expand on these bins a bit. And I plan on doing that later this week as well. Um, but, yeah, so far everything, so far so good here in my Lego room. I really, really like the new layout. I'm really excited for it. As you can see, I've got kind of my desk going here. I can sit in front of the TV now and I can build and do some work and just have so much more space here now that I've rearranged everything. So all is well. Don't forget to stay tuned. Don't forget to keep checking out my LEGO City updates, of course. I have a lot of fun making those. And I yeah, can't wait to see how the city turns out. Again, I just think it looks so much better because now I can see my modular buildings and enjoy the rest of my Lego room. And, I mean, the city I tore down, I think it had more like city-like features and was more realistic, but it didn't really get a, give me an opportunity to display my modular buildings like I wanted to, and it took up way too much space. So I feel like this is honestly the best of both worlds. So thanks everybody so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below what more kind of videos you want to see. Hope you enjoyed this mini room update going around my room and just kind of telling you and talking about what I've been up to. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.